there is a cicada killer back here in my shishito peppers and it thinks it owns it. It will not let me go. I cannot get back here to harvest my shishito peppers. This thing is terrorizing me. It's about the size of a, of a helicopter. I'm not playing with this bug, you guys. I'm not playing with this bug. Oh gosh. This thing, it assaulted me twice already today. I'm petrified of it. Oh, look, I can't get to my shishito peppers. I had to fight a cicada killing wasp to get these peppers today. It was awful. But I got to my peppers. She thinks that she lives on that pepper bush, but I'm telling you, she's the size of a hummingbird. It's not good, so I'm normally not afraid of the pollinators, but right now I'm, I'm horrified to go back into my shishito peppers. Hey you guys, it is 7.40 here on Monday night, and I have to show you that my kitchen table is a disaster. It's an absolute disaster. I'm not even gonna try to show you the actual table, but this is what's left in the basket that I didn't have a chance to get into the refrigerator yet. And then we, you know, we come out here to sit at night with the birds, and um, then we like to go for a walk in the garden. And we always say, I'm not gonna work tonight. I'm not going to do it. Um, let's just go for a walk and see. And here's what we ended up walking away with. Oh my goodness. Is this gorgeous or what? So these are dragon's egg cucumbers. Let me see how big they are. Fit about in the palm of my hand. Tender, yet crunchy. Uh, they're not bitter. They do have a gelatinous seed center. Um, I do scoop that out and the skin is very thin. You could easily just maintain that skin if you like that. Um, but I peel everything um, and they are very crunchy and they have a very nice finish. Um, something looks like it was trying to eat one of my peppers. These were all clumped up together and there was like five of them on top of each other. So I'll just cut that away. There is nothing wrong with that blemish. These guys here, we didn't even know that they were back there. These are called the Muncher Cucumber that we got from Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds. And they they would make a good pickler. They're very sweet and they finish in a, just a very pickly way. Um, this is everything that you wait for though, guys. Oh my goodness. We also have a few perfect zucchini here. Um, what a blessing. You come out, these are Cubanea, grown from seed. All of this was grown from seed. Um, so it just goes to show what you can have. So, you know, I really, I, I would love to see you guys try. You know, earlier when I dumped out those shishito peppers and the natapeno peppers, you really can grow them in a pot. Um, these things here, they need a little bit more trellising they're a little bit more work because you have to keep them up on a trellis these giant cucumbers are market more um, and these plants are just starting to kick in I literally have I don't know about a hundred cucumbers that are about to come off the vine all at the same time and I prayed for cucumbers this year because they took forever to germinate and I thought out of everything that I wait for for me it's the cucumbers and I swear the earth heard me praying for them and blessed me with, I think I have five different types. I don't know. There might be six. I've lost track of everything. I just know I have 30 cucumber plants. So anyway, guys, just try to grow something. Look what you get.